Sioux Valley Energy is building a top-notch energy efficient home. They're using the process of building the house as a way to teach their members how to save more electricity. For instance, even though this house faces to the north where the cold winds tend to blow from, most of their big windows are actually facing to the south. That's just one technique that makes this house more energy efficient, or E squared. Now, let's get into the guts of the house. South Dakota air is picture perfect pure. But the goal for Project E squared is to keep the outside out and the inside in. We are focusing on an airtight envelope on the home. We want to make sure that there's no air leaks. Air leaks mean a home is wasting energy. The E squared home has caulking between all the framing studs, a job that adds about an hour of work. It has an insulating R board that goes all around the home, not just between the studs. It's wrapped with a home wrap to keep air from getting into the stud cavities. The insulation, spray polyurethane foam. Seals everything up from stud to stud where it eliminates all the airflow inside the walls. Brad Hillman with Northland Coatings Incorporated says this foam is two and a half to three times more expensive than typical fiberglass insulation. But he says the energy savings pay off. He says homeowners just have to make some practical decisions. They don't like to spend money for something that they can't see. You have these prey to homes, you know, people walk through, wow, them nice countertops, or gee, did you see that light above the dining room table? You know, them are things that they do a little cutting here and there. Um, you know, they can easily pay for uh, the foam itself. The heel height on the roof was raised to allow for extra insulation. The electricians even wired this house differently. And they had us drill down go into the basement over and then back up so we didn't uh, wow. drill through the studs. The outside of the basement walls are insulated and waterproofed to prevent mold. Before the basement floor's concrete was poured, contractors put down a rigid two-inch polystyrene foam insulation. That's to keep cold from coming up through the bottom. The extra expense? $500. Sioux Valley Energy's Kerry Law says they picked Liebert Construction for their philosophy. We were looking for someone who was able to um, look at the details and, and find ways to make the home energy efficient yet affordable. And they met that criteria. The house is being built for $250,000, the median cost for a house in the area. It'll be finished in August. Once sold, Sioux Valley Energy would like to monitor the buyer's energy use. Is it in the kitchen? Is it in the laundry room? Is it down in the family room with the television and the stereo going? We need to find out where they're using that, that electricity so we can better serve them and give them information on where they can cut uh, their electricity bills and their energy usage. Go to SiouxValleyEnergy.com for construction updates. In Brandon, South Dakota, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.